Hey there, in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Interactor dashboard. Let's start with the four buttons across the top. If we click on Quick Start, it's going to take us to a hour long in-depth tutorial training on an introduction to Interactor. User Guide takes us to the help desk where we can scroll down and we can view the different articles that are related to Interactor. If we click on training videos, it's going to take us to the training videos inside the app. It's also going to take us, or it's also gonna enable us to head to the support desk using the link at the top, or the Facebook group by using the link at the top. Now, if we head back to the dashboard, if we click on need help, it's gonna enable us to submit a, a a, a support request by taking us to our support desk. We can just click on submit a request at the top and here we can enter our support uh, ticket. Now, at the bottom, it says, want to view our upcoming fe uh, features, click to view our feature request list. By clicking this, you can actually make a suggestion of a feature that you would like. Okay, by adding in a short descriptive placeholder up here and describing your idea in this box and clicking submit, that's gonna create uh, an idea for a new feature. And you can also upvote the features that are on here already that you would like to uh, have in, uh, created inside of the app. You can also view what we're considering right now, what is in progress, right now in order of the most votes and also what is completed. Now, if we go to the left-hand side menu by clicking on projects, it's gonna take us to the project menu. Here we can manage projects that we have either um, just inside the projects uh, folder or any subfolders that we've created. So I have active videos up here and I have demo slash test videos over here. Okay, we can also create folders and create new projects. More on this later on. The media library stores all of the videos that we upload into the software so we can quickly access them to use with other interactive video projects. Agency, this is where you can customize the white label options if you are an agency user to put Interactor on your own domain, create sub-user accounts, uh, change the logo, change the color scheme, etc. And we'll get into this more when we actually look at the agency features. It's also where the consultant kit is hosted to help you sell interactive videos to local businesses. The surveys function over here is where the surveys and quizzes feature is going to be live in the next few weeks when the 2.0 update comes out. Custom lists, this is a pro feature where it allows you to save emails in an email list without needing an autoresponder. Help and training is where our training videos are located. It's also where you can get access to the support desk by clicking the link at the top, or you can access the Facebook group by clicking the Facebook group link at the top as well. Finally, we have my account. This is where we can change our account details and we can also access the integrations down here if we want to integrate any autoresponders, etc. And it has our API key. Okay, so that is an overview of the Interactor dashboard and I'll see you in the next training video.